How's it going tonight, guys? I finally got my 8x gearbox made here and replaced all these things with ducks so I don't have to worry about them uh, blowing up, burning, catching on fire, all that good happy stuff. I put a little bit of lubricant in this and you'll see that it doesn't have anywhere near enough speed so I need to do that oh that and that will put it on speed instead of torque and now you'll see it is full so we can throw something in there and it'll start working alright so while that does that I need to make a forge hammer uh, I'm going with the forge hammer because I don't like uh, free stuff uh, crud can I not use a forge hammer to do this really see I need this but I don't like the fact that it doesn't have a durability on it, it looks like. Well, let's see if it'll do it if I change it to this kind of steel. I'll do that. No. Well, kiss my butt. So that's why I like Greg Tech. Everything unifies the right way. Nothing argues with me. It says it's shapeless. That's a lead plate. It won't let you do steel apparently with it. Hmm. That's the actual problem. Alright, well, then I guess we're doing it this way. So we need to make five of these. And there we go. Well, I guess this does have durability on it, just not quite as much. Alright, so we'll put that there. And now, let's try this out here. Oh, it lays right down, stamps it, pops it out, and there's our plate. You'll see I got an improved windmill up there. So this thing's full of power, that's full of power. So, I got my power all sorted. And I got my power sorted for this. Which I got sand, which means I can quit tearing up my ground out there. My beach head. The main reason why I wanted the centrifuge right this minute, other than the need for getting rid of the canola seed husks is to get gravel I can get or to get flint because I'm still using a flint uh, shovel and so this way I can take a stack of gravel here and take it over here everybody just leave me alone you see I got a deer in my pen over there he happened to fall into the portal so I stuck him in with the cows I didn't realize even though they're deer are actually transformation powdered cows that you can't breed a cow and a deer together. I tried it today. It doesn't work. 
You see, I got holding to and soul bound on my satchel. And I also got vacuum four and unbreaking three on my bow. I've also enchanted my gear, made new pants, made all new gear actually. And didn't get anything really great. This one's not bad. I actually had to put two together to get the unbreaking and the protection. This one's nice because it's got feather falling. But I want to get unbreaking on it as well. That's why I have the ambo was from putting that stuff together. I've ended up filling that back up again. And I want to put this here this here that like that and that will suck out the lubricant once I get that in there but see now I'm getting sand and flint so quite nice there quite happy about that and then I'm going to actually take something that's going to take a second to do but I'm going to put this actually you know what give me that I'm going to put this here and I'm going to put a item pipe from there to there and then I can just put the canola seeds in that chest now an item duct, which is I think what I'm going to use, is just tin and lead. Still got a bit of lead left. And I got plenty of tin, so let's go ahead and do that as well. I need to make a few of these up, which this will actually be enough because I need to do one there that one there and I want to put one on there and there and eventually I want to get this up there to that chest so it will drop the uh, husks in there for me but for right now this will be enough just to give it somewhere to go so let's make a couple more servos where's the glass? there's the glass and nuggy nuggies So that's going to go on there. That's going to go there. That's going to go on there. And we want all these set to automatic. Do your thing. And then I also want to put one here. And let's make a couple chests here. And there we go. We'll just throw that one there, that one there, that one there. That one there. Actually, I don't mind at all them connecting right there. So I'll just leave that like that. And you know what? I don't need this anymore. So I think I'm going to move this one over to here. That'll give me more room. And now I need one more servo. 
So, one, two, one, two. Clash. Ingots. There we go. That one will go there. And we're just going to throw you in there for now. So now I can grab all of this out of here, dump it into there. And I can grab all of this out of here, dump it over here. And then that can just sit there and work and do its job. And then I got my flint and my sand coming out of the centrifuge going in there. Um, why is this one not running? Oh, crap. It's out of, uh, stuff. Let's get that one out of there. Why is it... It's got lubricant in it now. So let's just repair it. Got some stone gears here. I'll make another one. Oh, it's going to take a bunch of them. Uh, okay. We'll make a bunch then. Oh, didn't take as many as I thought. Okay. So there we go, all fixed. Now we can put that back in there. And that kicks back on. Everybody should have plenty of lubricant now. Now that I'm going to have lubricant coming out of here eventually. And it'll be coming out of here plenty. Um, eventually I want to make a tank to hold lubricant. But that'll be after I uh, automate making the canola seeds or grabbing the canola seeds over there I should say. Um, let's go ahead and throw a stack of this in here. I need to get a chest. I actually got a chest. Why don't I just go ahead and set that up? Uh, so we need this here. Uh, I do believe I can use this to stop that connection. Yes, I can. And give me the chest. We're going to put this one right up here. We're going to have that like that. That again. These need to go right to hell back in there. And this needs to be turned on. And then I can put couple stacks of iron in here because I'm going to need some few projects that I want to get started soon but there we go I got my automation started for this stuff kind of simple but it all works and I've got my press working so I can now make my plates um, the next thing I want to do that I'll probably start on tomorrow or next time that I record will be a some IC2 stuff but I wanted to show you I started this floor it's my well I guess I finished it actually it's the first attempt I've ever made at a mosaic type floor 
Uh, to me, it kind of looks like a quilt. Um, but I wanted to show you guys before I build the building around it. It's probably going to be the most um, artistic part of the build. Everything else is probably going to be uh, stone bricks because it's such a big building. It's going to take a lot of whatever resource I use to build it. I am thinking about taking out like the corners and the connections of this and putting something different in there to give it a little accent. But I haven't decided if I'm going to and if I am what I'm going to do. If anybody has any suggestions on a way to make this floor look a little better, let me know. Because I am not a very artistic person. Um, in case you didn't see it when I came down here, I did go to the toilet. Got me a bunch of bookshelves so I could do my high level enchants. Got all kinds of loot and stuff out of there. Uh, got these from the lich I killed. And I ended up with the scepter of life, which or life drain, which I've never used any of them. Don't know how they work exactly. I made both my Naga pants and my Naga chest plate. So I have that achievement done, and I got the Lich Head done. Uh, made me a portable tank for water so I could make this recipe easier. I just need to get some more slag to do it. Because uh, I'll probably end up putting a basement in here. And if I do, it'll have this concrete tile for the basement. I'd love to make this uh, whole thing out of some kind of concrete. But that will take a while. I'll probably do that kind of little by little. Just start with a stone brick first. I haven't decided if I'm going to go in the twilight and get regular stone to make regular stone brick because I can get it a lot easier in there than I can out here. Um, or try to find a stone brick like that. I don't really like the blue one. I could try to chisel it. I haven't tried that. And Lord only knows where my chisel is. With this big mess I have, it's one reason why I want to get this started so I can make me a room for storing stuff and actually start to get a little bit organized. But that's what I got going on. Probably going to go and play in the labyrinth in the twilight soon. Go see if I can kill me a minotaur and work on my uh base there my factory and then next time i'll show you what i've gotten done and probably start on some ic2 stuff with making a compressor and things like that so take it easy